I'm ready to go, up and running. I've got a great lesson here. It's more of a review lesson designed for those who have learned fractions, decimals, and percents and how to convert between of them and how to draw them out. So it's not really meant for those who are learning it for the first time, but that doesn't mean you won't learn a lot if you are checking it out for the first time. But I am going to be moving at a little bit of a faster pace. So uh, you may have to pause the video a few times. If you've got my notes, make sure you're following along with your note package and coloring charts and circling things and filling in blanks as you move along. Let's go around here with a little bit of background information. We're going to start with fractions and what they mean. And we know that fractions are parts of wholes. And um, we've got a numerator, we've got a denominator, and the numerator is going to be the top number. It's going to represent the part. So this is the part part of the whole, the whole thing is going to be the denominator, it means four pieces in total, and we're going to color three of them, and here's a little bit of uh, labeling for you to do, We've got numerator, denominator, and uh, that's basically what I was just talking about. So you could do it in a circle. As long as you got this denominator means four equal pieces, then you just select three of them and you got three fourths, which is the proper way of saying it. You want to say three fourths. Don't say three out of four. Say three fourths. And then you can also say three quarters as well. You can do it as a rectangle. You know how it works. Three fourths, baby. Doesn't matter how it is. Just do it three out of four shaded in. Now decimals. What are they? Yeah, they're also parts of wholes. Just like fractions, it's just a different way of writing it. And you got to understand here and remember, the first digit after the decimal, you may want to make a note of that, after the decimal, has the value of tenths. Whereas the second digit after the decimal has the value of hundredths, here's an example. Decimal two, it's not how we say it, it's not how the cool people roll. Cool people say two tenths. Yeah, and then you can write, that's the tenths over here. Here's how you would write it out, and this is the fraction form. Now, I would expect if I gave you the fraction two tenths, that not only would you be able to read it properly, but also convert it back into the decimal format. Two tenths, two tenths. Now, this one here, that's the tenths, that's the hundredths. We say 25 hundredths. And this is the fraction form, 25 hundredths. Don't say 25 out of 100. Don't say 25 over 100. Say it right. Say 25 hundredths. And again, I would expect you to turn this back into the decimal format rather easily. And the last one here, we got decimal zero two. It's not how the cool people say. Cool people say, well, that's tenths and that's hundredths. Cool people say two hundredths, which looks a lot like the two tenths. But you see the difference here? We have a zero. And here we got a two. So it's a different value system. Here it's two hundredths, two hundredths, equivalent formats. Right, you see, it's not too hard. Now, what are percents? Oh, uh, Mr. Mellum, you just, you, par percents are parts of wholes? Yep, just like decimals and fractions, percents are also parts of wholes, and they're always written out of a hundred or an equivalent format. I'll talk to you what that means in a second. Here's an interesting fact. Did you know that percent symbol is just a kind of a, a code? It's a code for the number 100. You got that slash over here. That's a one. And these are two zeros on each side. It just means 100. So if you see 20%, yep, 20 out of 100. How do we say it properly? 20 hundredths, correct. Now we got 20 hundredths. Look what we can do. We can turn it into an equivalent format. Here's the rule for equivalent fractions. Whatever you multiply or divide, you can only choose those two. Whatever you multiply or divide the numerator, you have to do the same to the denominator. And whatever you get will be an equivalent fraction. So I'm going to choose 20 because 20 goes into both. And 20 goes into 100. And look what I get. I get one fifth. One fifth and 20 hundredths are equivalent. They're equivalent amount. They're equal amounts. They look different, but they're equivalent. How do I prove it? We'll do the opposite. Instead of divide by 20, how about we multiply the numerator and denominator by 20? Look, we get 20 hundredths back again. They're equivalent. They're no different from in valuation to one another. They're equal amounts. Now look at 6%. Six out of 100, right? Because that means out of 100. And what goes into both of these? Let's shrink it down a little bit. Two would work, yep. 
You can divide them both by two. You get three out of 50. Now, does that mean three out of 50 is the same as six out of 100? You bet it means the same thing. It's 100% identical. I can prove it by doing the opposite. Multiply, but look, I get, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. All right, we're rolling with this. Let's talk about pictures now. How do I show three-fourths using a diagram that has 100 tiles all together? That's 99, but don't forget the zero. That's the 100th one. So how do we do that? Well, one way to do it is to remember what the three and the four mean. The four means four total pieces and the three means select three of them. So what if I went like this? What if I just chose three out of every four? I got a lot here, but what if I went like this? There's that little world here has got three fourths, but I don't stop. I have to keep going. Okay, so I can write three fourths. That's three fourths. That's three fourths. That's three fourths. They're all three fourths, but they're also something else because if I ignore the little world and I look at the big world, I don't have three shaded out of four. I've got 75 colored in out of 100. Yep. That's how you do it, 7,500s, they're equal amounts. They're worth the same thing because when you mix all these three-fourths together, you get 75 out of 100, they're equal amounts. Did you notice this? Aha, denominator 100? Oh, how did I do this now? Because, how do we read this? 75 hundredths, remember what I said, if I give you 70, a number out of 100, I expect you to turn it back into this form so we write decimal 75. All right, well, what's the second way then? Okay, we got the first way, make these little worlds. How about, how about, okay, how about this? Take that four here, chop the entire thing into four equal pieces instead of little worlds. Make one big world and make four little sections in it or four big sections. So that's what we're gonna do now. How do we do that? Like that. Now, out of those four worlds, how many do we choose? Three of them. Okay, so we got three out of four colored in. But count the little ones now. We've got 75 little ones out of 100 in total. It's no different than that way. We get the same answer and we say they're equivalent amounts. Remember the penny? It used to exist in Canada, no longer it does. But you know, 100 of these makes, oh look, 100. What if we covered all of these yellow ones? Yep, we got 75 out of 100. That's 75 cents, but we can show 75 cents in a different way. Instead of using all these pennies, we can bring in the quarter. You know why they call it a quarter? Well, because it's uh, 25 out of 100. It, four of them make a dollar. That means each one is a quarter. Now look at this. I need only three of them because that's three there. Ah, 75 cents again. You see how that works? Now look, this lesson here is not about money, but I just thought I'd throw in an example just to make it a little bit more meaningful. All right, we got about, I think, five examples. Let's roll with this. Two methods of representing a half. You have to turn the denominator into a hundred and you have to write the decimal and the percent for that fraction, one half. Method one, select one out of every two. Here's two pieces. Look what we're gonna do. Just color one of those two. You see these two, they're like friends. Color two, one of them in. Color one out of two of these. One out of two of these, until you're all done. We got one half. You got one half here, one half here, one half here. But all together, we've got 50, count them, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, out of 100, these are equivalent amounts. Mr. Mellum, I think I know what to do here. I noticed that 100 in the bottom. 50%, oh, that's pretty smart if you got that. Now look what else. You might have noticed that this says 50 hundredths and so does that. And you might have also thought about this. If you slash the zero, you can do that. Just slash these zeros here at the end. You get decimal five, five tenths. Mr. Mellum, I see 50 out of 100. I see 50 hundred, but I don't see five tenths. Let me show you where five tenths comes from. Look at the top row. 10, how many colored? Five out of 10, pretty awesome. Okay, look at the next row, five tenths. Third row, five tenths, five tenths, five tenths. They all have five tenths, we can say five tenths. Or if you put them all together, you can say 50 hundredths. 
which makes 50%. See how this all connects together? It makes sense. That's all it is. You have to understand what's going on with this. Let's look at method two. One half. Hmm. What if, instead of making little worlds, what if we took the entire thing and split it into two equal parts like that? Just choose one. There we go, one piece. So that's one half. Count the little ones. 50 out of 100. Yeah, that's it. Now, two tenths. You can stop the video anytime you want. I'm gonna keep rolling. Two methods of representing this. Okay, let's make little worlds first. We're gonna select two out of every 10. Okay, here we have a little world on the top. Two out of 10 in this world. Next world. Two tenths. Two tenths. All of these have two tenths. That's why we write this. But if you put them all together, there's 20 hundredths. Yep, they're equal. And now that it's out of 100, we can write the percent Aha, the decimal. And right, you can write two tenths that way because look, every world has two tenths, two tenths. If you look at it world by world, world one is two tenths. That's decimal format for two tenths. If you look at all of it together, it's 20 hundredths. That's 20 hundredths. They're equal. That's what we call these equivalent decimals. Or what if we took the entire thing and chopped it into 10 equal parts like that and then just took two of them there like that. So here instead of circling like, you know, shading in all of these two, 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 it's the same thing. We're just showing it in a different way. Look, I've got 20 pieces now colored out of 100. Yep. They're equivalent. Now the next one. I think I've got three more. How about two-fifths? Well, we can make our little worlds again. We can make selecting two out of every five. Little world method. Let's call it that. The little world method. Here's a little world. Two out of five. That's not how you say it, Mr. M. It's two-fifths. All oh, right, thanks. Two-fifths. Here's two-fifths. They're all two-fifths. All right, we get it. Two fifths, but what else is it? Did you say that? Count all the other ones. You got 40 hundredths. Yep, don't forget the equal sign, they're equivalent. And now, this is easy, we can write 40%, 40 hundredths, 40 hundredths, and you can also slash the zero at the end and say four tenths. How does four tenths make sense? I just don't see it, Mr. Malum. Where's the four tenths? Show me where that is. Look, here's the top row. There's 10. How many here are colored out of these 10? Four. Well, what about the little bubbles? Doesn't matter. There's 10 altogether. Ignore these little bubbles here, these circles. I got 10 on the top. Four are colored in. That's four tenths, decimal four. But I, I can also do it this way. Split into five equal parts. The whole thing. How am I supposed to figure that out? How am I supposed to split into five equal parts? Well, that's easy to do because if you imagine 100 tiles and you split them into five sections, you get 20 in each section. Look at this. Here's section one, section two. So lovely. And out of those five worlds, choose any two. Count the little ones. 40 out of 100, no different than that. Look at this two big chunks out of five big chunks, but if you look at the little ones, I've got 40 little ones out of 100 little ones. It all depends on how you look at it. It's all about your perspective. Don't forget that. I got two more here, 3 twentieths. Same thing, denominator, decimal, percentage. Go for it. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, make your little worlds. Three out of every 20. There we go. They're all 3 twentieths, so we'll write 3 twentieths. But they're also 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 out of 100. 15 hundredths, they're equal. And percentage form, decimal form. There we go. 
Next picture. What if I took three twentieths? Instead of making little worlds, I'm going to chop this whole thing into 20 parts, which is easy to do because uh, splitting into 20 equal parts means you're going to take 100 tiles, divide them into 20 sections, you're going to get five in each world. Look at this. You got five, five. Perfect. We got 20 equal sections. How many do I choose? Any three you want. Count how many little ones now there are. Yep. Equal. If you haven't stopped the video once yet, you should stop it and see if you can do this one. If you can get this, you got it all, baby. You know how to do all this. Let's go for it, though, anyways. Let's go like this. We're going to select 10 out of every 25 for method 1. 10 shaded. Here's another world of 25. Okay, so they're all 10 25ths. Okay, there we go. Not bad. 10 25ths. But they're also 10 20, 30, 40 out of 100 equal, what's the percent you wrote down? Call it up. What about the decimal? Are there any other decimal formats? You bet there is. How about method two? We'll look at this, but now we'll chop the whole thing into 25 parts. Easy to do if you know division. That means 100 divided by 25 sections, you're going to get four in each section. Look at this. So beautiful. Look at that. There's my 25 sections. Got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 sections. I'm going to choose 10 of them. How many in total? 4 times 10 is 40. Got 40 out of 100. Yes, sirree. 40 out of 100 and 10 25ths are equivalent. Thanks very much for watching.